Hey guys, David East here, and in today's screencast, we're going to be going over making the sign-up page for our mailer application. So in the previous two lessons, we knocked out the top menu as well as the left menu. But now it's time to really get into some inner content. So the sign-up page has a couple of components. First, we have a title, which is the sign-up to mailer portion. And then we have an alert. And then we have a paragraph where you can sign up with a social network. And then another paragraph where you can sign up with your email and we actually don't have to take any measurements. And that's because we actually have all these variables recorded already. So let's get going on the HTML. So I've collapsed the top and left menu just to save some screen space. And below that, we'll add a section. And we'll give this section a class of content. And inside of content, we'll create a div and we'll give it a class of title bar. And we'll provide the text, which is sign up to mailer. And let's view this in the browser. And we don't see anything, so let's inspect the element. So as you can see, our section is hidden by our left menu. And that's because our left menu is displayed absolutely. So we're going to have to provide a margin left for our content. And that'll be 185 pixels. And now that we've provided that margin left, we can now see our sign up to mailer text. So let's now go to our title bar. Let's give it a padding of 0 and 30 pixels. Let's give it a height of 52 pixels and a line height as well as 52 pixels. And we'll give it a light gray background. And we'll set its color to our primary background color. And now it looks just like how it is in the PSD. So let's go into our project and create a less sheet for this section. We'll call it content.less. And inside of content, we'll give it a margin left. And we'll set it to the variable left menu width, which is 185 pixels. And then we'll set the style for the title bar. And we'll change these to variables. And we'll change the 30 pixels to content padding left. And we'll change the height and the line height to left menu item height. And this background color is a variable called gray off white. And the color is our primary BG. And let's make sure to add this to our mailer manifest. And before we view it in Chrome, let's set the font size and that's h6 font size. So now that we have our title bar set up, let's work on the alert that displays below. So since Flat UI is written on Bootstrap, we can actually use the Twitter Bootstrap docs to help us out. Since we're creating an alert that's similar to this example alert below, let's inspect it and copy the HTML. And let's paste it in below our title bar. And instead of our holy guacamole text, I'm gonna paste in a different message. And all this message says is that you can log in if you already have an account. And right now, this alert will just be the alert warning class, which is yellow. And we don't want that. We want it to be this light gray like we saw in the PSD. So let's change the class to say alert notify instead of alert dash warning. And now let's create a less sheet for alerts. And we'll just call that alerts. And so now we'll provide our class for alert notify. So let's set the background to the variable called gray lighter, and we'll give it a one pixel border of a variable called gray light. And let's make sure to add this to our mailer manifest, and we'll add it right below variables. And then we're going to need to add a strong style, and we'll set the color of the strong to Clifford red. So now as you can see in Chrome, we have the proper styling, but we don't have the proper positioning for it. So let's inspect the element. And let's try setting its margin. We'll set the top to 30 pixels. We'll set the right to 30 pixels. We'll set the bottom to 70 pixels. And we'll set the left as well to 30 pixels. So now you can see it's spaced out properly. And we're going to add that margin styling not directly to the alert notify style inside the alerts less style sheet, but we want to add it inside of our content style sheet. And the reason why that is, is because we don't want to apply that margin to every single alert. We only want to apply that margin to just this alert. So inside content, we're going to set a style for alert notify. And this is where we'll set the margin. So now let's focus on the sign up sections. So below the alert, we'll create a div. We'll give it an ID of sign up social. And below sign up social, we'll create another div and we'll give it an ID of sign up email. And each one of these will have an H6 tag. And this will say sign up with social networks. And this one will have another H6 tag saying sign up with email. So let's take a peek at these in Chrome. So as you can see, we have our text, but it definitely needs some work. 
So let's inspect the element. And since sign up social and sign up email are both divs, by default they have a display of block. So they'll obviously be stacked on top of each other. Let's change this by giving them some responsive bootstrap classes. So on sign up social, I'll give it a class of call md5. And I'll do the same with sign up email. So now you can see that they're on the same line, but their positioning isn't exactly right. So we can add another class to change this. So back in the sign up social div, we'll add another class. And that class is called call md offset one. And we'll also add that class to sign up email. And now you can see using these bootstrap classes that they're spaced out properly. So let's go back and add these classes in our local version. So now let's focus on the social network paragraph. It has a P tag, and the P tag has the text you can log in if you already have an account. And there's two buttons below, one for signing up with Twitter and one for signing up with Facebook. So for the first button, we're gonna give it a class of BTN, and then we'll give it a class of BTN social dash Twitter. And inside this button, we'll give it a Twitter icon. And that's just with a class of FUI Twitter. And then we'll provide text saying sign up with Twitter. And we'll do the same thing below for the Facebook button. And we'll change from social Twitter to social Facebook and FUI Twitter to FUI Facebook. And we'll say sign up with Facebook. And we probably want to spell Twitter right. So let's see how this stacks up in Chrome. So this isn't exactly how it looks in the PSD. In the PSD, we see that we need a bit of spacing between the sign up and the text below. And we also need some spacing between the text below and the buttons. And the buttons are a bit bigger and they're also on their own lines. And some of the text color needs to be changed as well. So let's inspect this element and let's give it a margin bottom of 24 pixels. And that gives us a bit more space. So let's move down to the P tag and let's give this P tag a width of 269 pixels. And that'll keep this text from being longer than the title. And then we'll supply some margin. We don't want any margin on the top or the right, but we do want 20 pixels on the bottom and we don't want any on the left. And we'll change its color to a darker gray. And let's start focusing on these buttons. So these buttons need to be on their own line. So let's give them another class. We'll give them a class of BTN and we'll call it LNGER. And that stands for button longer. So now that we've added a new class, let's go up into the Chrome tools and let's hit a new style rule. And it's generated one out for us. And the first style we're gonna wanna apply is set the display to block. And now both of these are on a separate line. And let's give it a width of 269 pixels. And it didn't apply to the Facebook is because our style right now is specific to Twitter. So we'll remove that. And now Facebook has the same width as well. And then we'll set some padding. And that's 16 pixels on the top and bottom and zero on the left and right. And then we'll set a margin bottom of 18 pixels. So now this looks a little bit more like the PSD. The only difference is, is that we need to change the text color of the header. And also we need to change the size and the position of these social icons. So add a new style rule for the icons. And we'll set their font size to 20 pixels. So let's go back and add these styles to our local copy. So we'll need to create a less sheet for our signup page. And we'll just call that signup.less. And the first thing we'll do is we'll apply the margin bottom for the heading tags. So within signup email and signup social, anything with a heading six or a class of heading six will have a margin bottom of 24 pixels. And we'll also wanna set the text color to the primary BG color. And now we'll set styles specific to sign up social. And we'll first start out with the P tag. The P tag has a width of 269 pixels and we clear out all the margin except for 20 pixels on the bottom. And now we'll set styles for BTN longer. So BTN longer has a display of block, a width of 269 pixels, padding of 16 pixels on the top and bottom and a margin bottom of 18 pixels. And we can't forget to add the color to the P tag. And that is a variable called gray dark. So now that we have these styles declared, let's create a variable for the 269 pixel width. So at the bottom of variables.less, we have a section for sign up and we'll create a variable and we'll call it sign up social item width. And that equals 269 pixels. 
So back in sign up, we'll change both instances of 269 pixels. And let's add the signup.less to our mailer manifest. So now let's go back to the HTML and add some of the classes we added in the Chrome DevTools. And for the social buttons, we created another class called it BTN Longer. So we need to add that to both of these buttons. And before we go and view it in Chrome, we need to make sure that our icons are going to be positioned correctly. So let's go back to signup.less. And for the i tags inside of BTN Longer, let's set their position to absolute. And we'll set them left 20 pixels and top 20 pixels. And now we'll check it out in Chrome. So now back in Chrome, you can see that things look a little better, but where the sign up with social networks is, there's a bit of a white spot there, and that's our social icons. And that's because we set them absolutely, but we didn't set a relative positioning for their parent container. Because if you can remember from the last video, if you set the parent container to relative, then any child container with an absolute positioning within it will be positioned absolutely within the parent. So let's go and add relative positioning to our buttons. And we'll also want to set a font size for the icon, and that'll be 20 pixels. And instead of a top of 20 pixels, let's actually change that to 15. And we're going to need to also set the font size of button longer to 16 pixels, which is a variable called paragraph font size. So now we're in line with the PSD. But there's one last part we need to add to the sign up with social network section. And that part is this faint gray border right over here. So let's grab its hex color and let's create a style for it. So inside of sign up social, we'll set a border, two pixels solid, and the color we got from Photoshop. But we only want it to be the border right. So our border has been achieved. So let's go and focus on the email portion. So the sign up with email portion just has three text boxes for username, email, and password, and then a button for sign up. So let's get writing the HTML. So for each text box, we're going to create a div to wrap it in, and that's going to be called form group. And then we're going to create an input type of text for a text box. We're going to create a placeholder for username, and we're going to give it a class of form control. And all these are bootstrap classes. And then we'll create two more. We'll have one for email and one for password. And then we'll create one more form group, but instead of a text box, we'll have a button. We'll give that a class of BTN, BTN default, and we'll give it the text of sign up. So in Chrome, we can see we have our three text boxes and our button, but they're reaching towards the end of the page. So let's inspect one of these text boxes and let's change some of these styling rules a bit. Let's first give it a height of 54 pixels and let's give it a width of 369 pixels. And now you can see that it's backed off from the right of the page. So let's add these styles to our local version. So at the bottom of signup.less, let's add a style for signup email. And inside of signup email, let's add a style for dot form control. And inside of here, we'll set the height to 54 pixels and the width to 369 pixels. So in this lesson, we created the signup page which is just the first of three pages. Outside of the signup page, and then we have the mail page, and we also have the compose page. In the next lesson, we'll be going over the mail page. We'll even be covering the jQuery that allows us to select all our individual mail items. So just like always, if you have any questions or want anything explained in more detail, just leave a comment.